What's up everyone, Tina here. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can utilize the new enhanced POS checkout on your mobile app. POS stands for point of sales. Why is that important? Well, sometimes maybe on the go, you don't have your laptop with you or you just really need to close that deal. You can now utilize a tap to pay function within your mobile app, meaning you create that product either right there and then or you pull a product which you've already created within your system and then people just pull out their credit card, tap it on your phone, and that's how you can make the tap to pay sale. So today I'm going to walk you through the product creation on the mobile app, the product catalog, and how you can collect that money. The other cool thing is also that you can attach it instantly to invoices and send an invoice right there and then on the go as well. So grab your mobile phone and type lead connector, log into your lead connector app. And at the bottom, you've got five icons. The one in the middle with the dollar sign, that's where we want to go to. That's where we can create the product. Then the app will ask you to confirm your location, which you have to do, otherwise it will not work. So let's click only this time for now. Now we can either type in a new price, a new product, or we can connect it to an existing product what's already exists in the catalog. So for now, we just type $1. You could also add a note, couple, for example, hit save, and then you would see the note showing up right here. And then you can see review item, click on that. And here you can see the payment, right? Here you can add a customer. So let me add myself. Tina has a demo. Now you can still review and check if that's what you wanted to sell. You can increase the amount of items you're going to sell. Let's say you're maybe running an event and there is a queue of people who don't have cash yet. You said in the invitation, please bring only cash. Then you want to just pull out your phone and create this product and have tap to pay ready. So let's assume these people come and it's a couple and we sell two tickets. Then we can also add a discount if we wanted to. So let's say the discount value would be 10%. That would be 20 cent. Hit done. Now you can see the discount has been applied. Hit charge, then it will ask you if they wanna leave a tip. For this time, let's say no, it's loading now. And now the people can pull out their credit card and tap it behind your phone and that way they will be charged. Let's exit this for now because I also wanna show you the catalog. Going back, switch to catalog. And now we can see our products that have already been created within our location. So let's select one. Again, decide how many pieces of tickets or shoes or whatever you're selling you want to sell. Hit review. And now you can see there are still the two tickets, which we've added a minute ago. Then there is the other demo product, which has been added, including the taxes, because we have already attached taxes to our demo product. And again, then we can hit charge. It will ask us again to leave a tip. Let's say custom for now. Let's say we want to give $5 as a tip. Tap to pay again loading and now you can see the total of 1766 including tax and including a tip now again people just tap their credit card behind your phone and they will be able to pay and then the little arrow at the bottom will show you how many transactions you've had via tap to pay or any other transactions in general so here you can see all the transactions of today which i just showed you under type let's select point of sale and there is nothing yet because we haven't actually finished that transaction so now let me show you how you can actually create the product within the mobile app. So you want to click on the hamburger menu in the top left, and then you can see the menu on the left, right? Click on products. We now click the plus sign in the bottom right and say demo product point of sale. We can add an image, select your image, add a description, decide if it's a physical item, a digital item or a service. Right now we are in an event, so let's say it's service. We're adding tax, let's say about 20%. And this description will appear on the customer's credit card statement alongside your company name that you set in your payment gateways settings. Hit next. Here you can add another pricing name. Let's say early bird. Scroll down, decide your payment. Let's say $10 for the ticket. Compare price. Let's say because it's early bird, we say they save 50%. So we just put $20. So now, variants, that's pretty cool too. If you're selling jackets, you can change the colors, the size, or the quantity. But let's say because we are selling events at this moment, we can say early bird, we can say couples ticket, we can see, say VIP. So let's choose VIP for now. And let's say plus one drink. Okay, that's the variant. You can add more. I'll just keep it at one right now. Now we can see we have created a VIP variant pricing. Nice. Very nice. I like it that the $20 are crossed off. It's something called price anchoring in the marketing world, as you probably know. So now they see, okay, it's actually worth $20. I am going to save $10. Let me just get this ticket. Hit create item. And here we go. There is the product. Let's assume you would have several variations. So we could also obviously then change the price for each variation. Let's add another variant and say regular with no drink. And hit save. So now we have the VIP option or the regular option. 
Please also note, if you are creating a product on your desktop, that will show up on your mobile app as well. And if you're creating a product within the mobile app, that will also show up in your desktop. This other cool thing is that you can already connect your existing customers or leads within your database. So that means the tracking is on point as well. So when you go later back to your CRM, all of these sales will be stored within the database of that particular contact. Also, another option where you can add to contact is at the top right, this little icon here. Select your contact, then you will see the contact popping up as TD, but you can also remove it again by clicking remove. Should you decide not to link a contact or that contact is not in your database just yet, the transaction will automatically be linked to auto ad generated at pos.payment. So in order to avoid that, you can also just go in manually and create a new contact by clicking on the contact icon at the bottom right. And then that floating plus sign here, click plus and then add the contact there so that you can add it to the transaction or to the product purchase. Another great case study could be if you're running events and you're selling on stage. So typically if you've been to events and you're selling off stage, you have your team in the back set up with tables and stuff where people can go and purchase the product that you're currently selling. In that case, you can just have your iPads or phones ready for the people to come and tap to pay and purchase your coaching sessions and products that you've just sold off stage. I hope you find this new feature helpful and I will see you in the next video.